Obsidian has just released a core plugin called Bases. And core plugin means that it's from the developers of Obsidian. I immediately realized it was a drop-in replacement for Obsidian Projects, which was a community plugin, is a community plugin, and also works well for asset management. I spent about five minutes with it and realized that this is something that I could demonstrate. So first of all, let's look at what Projects is. I don't actually, I just removed the plugin, so I don't have a, an example of it, but this is what the plugin looks like. And this is essentially how I was using it. This is from this article that was linked in the GitHub repo for projects. But as you can see, each of these columns is referring to a property inside of a markdown file that Obsidian is managing. And you can create different views, table, board, calendar, gallery. As it happened, I only used the table view. Coincidentally, the table view is one of the two views that bases the new plugin currently supports. I assume everyone is familiar with Obsidian, but in case you're not, I'll do a quick demonstration. What we see here is just representation of a file that exists on my hard drive. So everything is plain text. And of course, Obsidian held to that design philosophy. The new basis plugin is built around plain text files as well. For project management, I keep all of my work-related projects here. All I had to do to replace the projects plugin was right-click the folder and click new base. And this created a base of all my files. You can see a lot of this is CSS. Very little of it I actually want. So I filtered where the file has a tag and I had already used this tag for my projects plugin and the exact same tag works here. So now I have a list of all the projects that I have tagged as projects. I could immediately start bringing in other properties such as a due date and whether or not it's active, which matters to me. I can... If it's active, I've sorted it now at the top. So you can see that's it. I have dropped in a replacement already for the projects plugin. As you can see, all of these are interactive. The file name is a link, so I can go to any of these. In case you're unfamiliar with properties, what this means is that I'm just opening a text editor and you can see that this section is all of the data that's being used in order to populate this base. And of course, I would want to rename this to something more meaningful. So that's all I need for project management. I could add some additional work onto this to make it more usable, but the basics are already there and it took about a minute. For asset management or property management, I thought this was particularly interesting because my uncle is developing a suite of software related to property management so that people can maintain a journal of information related to their physical property and really any type of property. So I have a list of assets here, but I'm just gonna create a new folder. I'll call it test assets. And in this folder, we'll have a note for each asset that we're gonna have. I'll do control P for command, add a file property. I'm going to give it a model. Let's call it a Toyota Camry. And the location also in the garage. Quantity, you got three of those. They're in the kitchen. None of these are actually my assets, by the way. The other way to look at bases in Obsidian is to embed them into notes. So we'll create a new note. I'll do control P for a command, insert a new base. Once again, it's all the files. I'm gonna filter it and I just, yes, you can filter it by a folder too. Lots of things you can filter it by. In this case, it's going to show just the files in 
this folder. I don't like that it is showing the current active document and the base, but rather than filter it down to just what I want here, I'm going to rename this one. Let me duplicate it first. I'll make one of these garage assets and the other one kitchen assets. You can see where this is going, probably. I've got a garage and I've got a kitchen. So we'll grab the link from here and put it here. Instead of garage asset, it's kitchen assets. And then we'll have a filter where if the location property is kitchen, it's going to show up in this space. And if the location is garage, it will show up in this list. This is hugely extensible. It doesn't have to be just sorted by location. And for property management, this is about everything that I would want in a system. So I'm thrilled with these new features. I'm thrilled with the basis plugin. I will also make quick mention of the cards view, which I didn't demonstrate here. Probably more involved, um, but as you can see, a lot of utility there as well. So that's it. Just wanted to demonstrate the basis plugin. Very exciting.